Hello, my name is Fiona Kennedy and I'm here to tell you a few more skills about how to cope with COVID-19. Last time we spoke about the first of the tip skills from a therapy called dialectical behaviour therapy and that means changing the temperature of your face. So all of the tip skills are about bringing your physiology down. So when we're very, very aroused, it could be because we're very sad, very anxious, very angry, panicking, panic attacks, all of those things, we've got the fight or flight response going really, really strongly in our body. And our heart rate will be speeded up, our breathing will be shallow, the blood will be pumped to your muscles to get you ready to, to fight or flight. You may feel a bit dizzy because you've got lots of oxygen in your brain. So these skills will help you bring it down so that you can then think and then you can do some other coping things with that. Because if you can't think, pointless doing anything too sophisticated. So I stands for intense exercise. Um, so before I tell you about that, I just want to give a little shout out to the Conway um, Substance Misuse Services team who I have some great feedback from saying that they're enjoying the videos and applying them in their work. And I've got lots of feedback from other people too. Um, so if you'd like me to mention you in a video, let me know. Intense exercise. So it seems to me that when you make videos, part of doing videos is, is making fun of yourself. So I'm just about to do that again. So my favourite intense exercise is running on the spot and star jumps which I will demonstrate to you in one minute. Obviously, you may not be in a place where you can do running on the spot and star jumps, uh, and so you might need to use one of the other tip skills. However, if you can find a quiet place where no one's likely to disturb you too much, try these two things, and I recommend you do them for at least three minutes, which is quite a long time. So here we go, let me show you. This is my running on the skills, running on the spot skills. Here we go. So this is how you do it. Basically just using the elbows and lifting the knees as high as you can. Just keep going and you'll find eventually your whole physiology will calm down. The other option is star jumps. So feet apart and hands apart and just keep doing that. And do that for another three minutes. So that's a long time and maybe you're not feeling fit enough to do it for such a long time. However long you can manage, just do that and you will find that brings your physiology nicely down. Let me get my thing back. Okay, so that's intense exercise and it will give you time to just calm yourself and reactivate the brain. If you want to know something about the neurology of this, when we've got fight or flight running and we're preparing to deal with danger, a little bit of our brain called the hypothalamus, which usually integrates information, helps us think, and also our prefrontal cortex, which is about here, which evaluates what we're doing and helps us make informed decisions, they both tend to go offline. And we need to bring them back online in order to help us think our way through situations and make decisions about how we want to behave. So, um, although it looks a bit like, why are we doing this? It, it has some really serious science and neurology behind it. Paced breathing is another technique you can use. And this is a really useful one. This is usually my go-to one because nobody has to know you're doing it. You don't have to move physically. You don't have to kind of change in any way. So paced breathing, is a, it's not really mindful breathing, which you may be familiar with. And it's not entirely relaxation breathing, which you may also be familiar with. This is breathing to a rhythm of four seconds in and six seconds out. And the reason it's exactly four in and six out is because, a bit like the dive response we spoke about um, in the last video, where we change the temperature of the face, Paced breathing mirrors the pattern of our breath when we are relaxed. So when our parasympathetic system is in charge, when we feel safe, when we feel content, when we feel allied with other people around us, this is how we breathe. 
So let's just try it. We'll do it for maybe 20 seconds. Um, but ideally, again, at least a minute, check how you feel, do it for another minute. So if you have a phone about your person or a watch, um, you just or a clock on the wall with a second hand, see if you can just locate that for a minute. And um, we'll just try this for 20 seconds. So we're going to breathe in. Two, three, four. Out. Two. Four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, and again on your own time. So again, you need to do it longer than that. And ideally, these skills, including the intense exercise and the breathing, should be practiced when you're not hyper-aroused, when you're not really in extreme stress and really needing these techniques. Because if you practice them then, um, or you ask your clients if you're a mental health worker to practice them then, the brain will learn new highways of information and when you actually are in extremists and need these skills because you've practiced they'll come much easier to you. The last uh, skill I want to introduce to you is progressive relaxation and you may be familiar with this this has been around for quite a long time and uh, some people use this to help go to sleep if they're very stressed and their mind is whirring around um, this is a good technique, again, it, it works on the body and it helps us to bring everything down. So you can practice this lying down or you can practice it sitting up like I am or you can practice it standing. And the basic idea is to go through the body uh, part by part and tense as many muscles as you can, hold it for just a few seconds and then let the tension go by relaxing. So we'll, we'll do a little bit of that now so you get the general idea. And um, obviously I can let you use your imagination to go through the whole body. So well, let's start by lifting our shoulders. So if you raise your shoulders as high as you can, really squeeze them, squeeze them up to your ears. Really hold, really, really squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And relax. Just let the tension go and notice the difference then between the tension and the relaxation. So drop your head forward and squeeze your chin back against your neck. Really squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And then relax and let the tension go. Make tight, tight fists with your hands. <coughs> really squeeze. Notice the tension in your fingers, thumbs, hands, and then let the tension go. Take your arms out to the sides. Let me move my, let me move this equipment so that you can see better. Take your arms out to the sides and really, again, squeeze the fist, but also stretch right out through the shoulders. Really, really stretch, stretch, stretch. And relax. Stick the chest out as high as you can. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Really feel the tension across your chest and shoulder blades. Hold that. And relax. Okay. So this technique involves you going through your whole body, doing similar things. Um, if you would like me to make you a recording and send it to you, just get in touch with me at uh, Dr. Dr. Kennedy at greenwoodmentors.com. Um, these are the tip skills from dialectical behaviour therapy. They're often used in other contexts as well. Please feel free to share this video. I really hope it, it helps in these terrible times. Uh, do stay safe, stay well, and uh, wherever you are, be kind to yourself. Goodbye.